Why is sea ice made of fresh water when the ocean is salty? Hello everyone. Have you ever wondered? What does sea ice taste like? Is it as salty as sea water? Well, the simple yet fascinating answer that sea ice is actually formed from freshwater ice. Now, you might be wondering, how is that possible when the ocean around it is salty? As usual, a like and subscription to your channel will help the channel grow. Don't hesitate to take a few seconds to support the creators of this video, we'll get to the main content now. Sea ice is made of fresh water because during the freezing process, salt is naturally excluded, resulting in the ice remaining fresh, while the water below becomes saltier than normal. About two-thirds of Earth's polar ice caps float on the polar seas as a thin layer of sea ice. Sea ice is seawater that freezes on the ocean surface. It occurs throughout the Arctic Ocean and the Antarctic. Despite its vastness, sea ice only accounts for about a one-thousandth of the total ice volume on Earth. While snow and ice typically form from precipitation, sea ice originates from the freezing of surface seawater and is not influenced by precipitation in the form of rainfall. However, the most interesting aspect of sea ice is that although it is made from salty seawater, it is nearly as pure as fresh water. Therefore, the production of sea ice is one of the fundamental processes on Earth for regulating the salinity of the oceans. When there is more sea ice during cooler global climate periods, the oceans become saltier. When there is less ice during warm summer seasons, fresh water is added to the ocean, reducing the salinity of seawater. How is sea ice formed? Seawater freezes at lower temperatures than freshwater. Due to the presence of salt, saltwater freezes at temperatures around minus 1.8 degrees Celsius, 28, 8F, while freshwater freezes at around 0 degrees Celsius. However, because only the water component of seawater freezes, sea ice contains relatively little salt. Therefore, sea ice can be melted and used directly as drinking water. But why does sea ice have almost no salt? The answer lies in the simple chemical nature of the bond between water molecules and salt. The presence of salt disrupts the formation of ice crystals. Salt likes to combine with water, but water does not. Therefore, the formation of pure ice now requires an additional step removing salt from the path and then building the crystalline ice structure. As a result, more coldness is required to push salt out of the transformation process so that crystals can form. This means that removing salt from water requires an additional step, which will undoubtedly consume more energy. Once the ocean surface reaches the freezing point of salt water, the first type of ice formed is called pancake ice, consisting of small crystalline particles and spikes up to 3 or 4 millimeters in diameter. As temperatures drop further, ice crystals will continue to grow and accumulate, forming a slushy mixture on the ocean surface. After these, ice crystals continually form and accumulate, the cold environment will no longer have a direct connection to the salty water below, and sea ice will continue to grow by accumulating at the bottom of the sea ice. Throughout the annual cycle in the Arctic, about 45 centimeters of ice melts, from the ice surface, while an equivalent amount is replenished at the bottom. As a result, an ice crystal deposited in the sea ice layer at the bottom will move up the ice column at an average speed of about 45 cm or year until it reaches the surface and melts. Sea ice and ocean circulation. The salinity of seawater also affects ocean currents. As sea ice grows, most of the salt in the ocean is pushed down into the water below the ice layer. The water under the sea ice contains more salt and is denser than neighboring seawater, so it sinks and flows out from the surface. As a result, sea ice helps global ocean currents circulate. Sea ice and global climate. Although sea ice is mainly found in polar regions, it has a significant impact on global climate. The shiny surface of sea ice reflects a lot of sunlight back into space and emits it into the atmosphere. Because this solar energy is reversed, instead of being absorbed by water, the temperatures near the poles will be much cooler than near the equator. 
As sea ice melts, due to increasing temperatures, there is less white surface left to reflect sunlight. More energy from the sun is absorbed, and therefore the water temperature rises. This initiates a cycle of warming and melting. Water temperatures rise, causing ice to form later in winter and melt faster in the following summer. Even a slight temperature increase can lead to significant warming over time, making the poles the most sensitive to climate change on the planet. In conclusion, while the ocean may seem salty at first glance, it's important to remember that a small portion of sea ice is actually made of freshwater. This process plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance of water on Earth and supporting life in the polar regions. So, the next time you see sea ice, take a moment to appreciate the clever engineering of nature that allows it to be made of fresh water when the ocean around it is salty. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and have a fantastic day.